So we're here to talk about autonomy. So what do we need to think about first? Well, if it, autonomy is about doing the kinds of things that you see worth doing, things that you think are valuable, then that kind of means that to be autonomous, you have to be able to do the kind of things that you want to do. So what does it mean to want to do something? Well, that means to have a desire, right? So that's what I want to talk about first, is just a little bit about what we even mean by a desire. So there's a bunch of different things that happen in our heads, and philosophers like to cut these up in ways that are probably a little bit tidier than they actually are. But let's not worry about all that. Uh, let's just talk just suppose for a second that we have two different kinds of things that happen in our head. There's going to be other stuff, obviously, but just start simple. So there's beliefs, and then there's things like desires. And, you know, there's moods and other emotional states, but let's just think of the, about these. So what does it mean to believe that, um, so my dog is black, right? So that's a belief, right? I think that uh, this sentence is true. So what is it to say, you know, I want a taco? Well, that's a desire. And what that, what that means is if I, if I want a taco, that means there's something like, you know, what we'd call a state of affairs, you know, just the way the world is, you know, it's something like Adam eating a taco. I hope that's not off the camera. Um, what I want when I say that I want a taco is really just, I want this sentence to be true. Okay. So the reason why I bring up beliefs and desires in this way is you can see beliefs are, you know, me thinking that a certain sentence is true, right? You know, Adam's dog is black. That when I say I believe that, I'm saying I think this sentence is true. Um, when I say I want a taco, I'm saying that I have a certain kind of attitude towards this sentence, right? I want that sentence to be true, okay? Um, so that's why both of these things here, beliefs and desires, are part of a family that you don't need to know the name, but I'm going to use it maybe, called uh, propositional attitudes, right? So a, a proposition, right, is just a sentence. It's, it's like a sentence, right? So it's an attitude towards a sentence. So when, I have, so when I have a belief, I have an attitude, namely like thinking it's true, towards a proposition, a sentence. And when I have a desire, I have a sort of different kind of uh, orientation towards a sentence. And that sentence is something like, you know, Adam eats a taco, right? So that's how we, that's the thing that's common between beliefs and desires. And you'll see why I'm going into this in a second when we get to second order desires. Okay, so let's think a little bit about what it would mean for you to, uh, let's use the phrase that is going to be very, you know, sort of standard for us when we are talking about autonomy, you know, we say that, you know, you really want something, you know, blank, right? You know, sometimes we, we say, you know, oh, I want a taco, but do I really want a taco? Well, for me, the answer is always yes. And maybe I shouldn't use that example because, you know, for pretty much everyone, that answer is going to be yes. But we sometimes say like, you know, uh, like, you know, you're, you, you promise your friend that you're going you're, you're gonna to meet them at the bar, right? So, right. So when, you know, you make that promise to your friend, you say, hey, I'll meet you at the bar, you're saying, you know, you probably, um, you probably want to go to the bar, right? So that's probably true when you, you know, when you make the promise. But, you know, it, you have a long day at work, you're kind of feeling lazy, Netflix is calling you. So sometimes when we say something like that, like, you know, do I really want to go to the bar? 
that means you're kind of like waffling on whether or not you actually have that desire, right? So maybe you wanted to go in the past, but now you don't want to go anymore. And when you ask yourself, do I really want to go? The answer is no, I don't even want to go. But there's another way that can play out, which is kind of more important to us, right? So you can think at a certain um, range of options, right? These are just things you could do, right? Uh, you could, you know, say, go to the bar. You could watch some Netflix. You could uh, do your dumb uh, business ethics homework. No one's going to do this, obviously. You could, you know, uh, pet your cat, which, you know, if your cat is anything like mine used to be, this could be an all-night affair, right? So you got a lot of things that you could do. And, you know, you might have different kind of preferences for them, right? And those can shift around in a given moment. But, you know, sometimes you don't even, you know, like, these are all kind of constrained by your current situation, right? So um, here's another thing that you might want, right? You might want to be a, you know, a rock star, right? That's like your dream, right? Well, how does that dream fit in there? Uh,